In recent years, many migrants have crossed into the U.S. from Mexico through the sewer system. And now we are learning more details from the investigations conducted by different agencies, both in Mexico and the U.S. ABC 7's Juarez correspondent Heriberto Perez has this story. A recent report made by El Diario de Juarez says around 4,000 migrants crossed from Juarez to El Paso through the sewers. In an investigation conducted by U.S. and Mexican authorities, found around 980 people from Ecuador and Guatemala cross weekly. El Diario de Juarez also reported smugglers earned around $3 million per month with these crossings. I reached out to U.S. Border Patrol to learn how they operate in these types of rescues when migrants are coming out of manholes. Their spokesperson said U.S. Border Patrol does not record the exact number of migrant apprehensions inside El Paso sewer systems. This is a video I recorded in December of 2022 at the intersection of Mills Avenue and Delta Drive in downtown El Paso. We saw a group of migrants coming out of a manhole and running afterwards. U.S. Border Patrol also said in a statement, quote, the El Paso storm drain system is very large and complex and migrants often get lost or come across chemicals, toxic gases, insects and venomous animals as they attempt to enter the United States, end quote. U.S. Border Patrol in the El Paso sector also implemented a confined space entry unit. This specialty unit is comprised of highly trained Border Patrol agents who enter the tunnels and waterways within the El Paso area to patrol and perform migrant apprehensions and rescues as needed. Reporting in Ciudad Juarez, Heriberto Perez, ABC7. The Mexican Attorney General's office announced in a news release they charged six people connected to human trafficking and money laundering crimes in late October of this year. ABC7 reached out to El Paso Water to learn more about these crossings, and they said in a statement, quote, if migrants are spotted on EP Water property, employees are advised to immediately call authorities. In such cases, the utility fully cooperates with law enforcement. We also requested an on-camera interview and have not heard back.